Jones here from Everything Tech and what I've got for you today is a new tip on how to improve your Wi-Fi speed. In some cases you might not be able to improve it but if you've got access to a router that is not locked or that is not restricted in some way then you might be able to get a nice boost on your Wi-Fi speed. So what you're seeing on the screen is the Wi-Fi Explorer app for Mac. And what this does is the adapter on your Mac will scan around for all the access points around you and see what they're using. And based on what they're using, you will select something different in order to get the best possible signal without any interference at all. So just to prove to you that this works, I'm going to show you exactly what I did in order to get this 71% signal here. So this is my wireless N. I don't know if you've seen my previous video, which was how to install the TP-Link router, which is an IC750 router. And in this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to improve the quality of the signal. On the IC, we're pretty limited at the moment, but, and the signal is fairly good, but on the end, the 2.4 gigahertz band is so saturated, it's very difficult to get a good signal and maintain that good signal. So if I put my um, Archer on the end 2.4 gigahertz, if I put it on auto, it's gonna pick up a channel. I'm just gonna save that. And in here we'll see what channel it decided to choose. It's not always clever on the channels that it chooses because as you can see the channel 11 is being used by this access point, this access point, this access point. Channel 1 is being used just by this access point here. So that means that this one is quite far from me. Now here we go. So it chose channel 13. Because channel 11 is being used by this one, this one and this one, it's got obviously going to cause problems for me. So, so it chose this channel which is overlapping all the other channels that are behind it with channel 11. This one, this one, this one. So this means that I'll get 61% on the signal quality or signal strength because many other access points around me are using a similar channel. So this means that obviously it's still quite good if I go into here, it still says that it's good, but I can get it over to 71 just by choosing channel one, which only one is using and is quite far from me because it, it keeps on disconnecting all the time. So just by selecting channel one here on the 2.4 gigahertz part of the network and hitting save, it will now change to channel one here because at the moment it chose channel 13 because I put it on automatic and the signal strength improves straight away. There you go, to 70 because there's not many people using these channels here. So if you've got a Mac, this is a great option to scan all the Wi-Fi networks around you and take advantage of the channels that are not being used and obviously gain a little bit more signal or enhance the signal quality a little bit in order to not be cut off all the time or have loads and loads of interference. So I hope you like this video, it's just a quick tip. If I find anything for Windows, I will make another video and explain exactly how to do it in Windows. Please comment, rate and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.